everybody, it's the Holiday Panda welcoming you to ACMI's Holiday Show! Yay! Tonight we're going to have crafts and the ever popular cookie decorating competition. So stay tuned! everybody happy holidays I'm gonna make a wreath today out of candy canes and first we're gonna start with a circle a piece of cardboard a piece of paper this is gonna be where I glue on the uh, candy canes so I put it right there I'm gonna use the hot glue first of all let's see I have my blue gloves to match my tablecloth today. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna try to make a heart shape at the top of your cane. I'm just placing them now and then I'm gonna glue them. There you go. You can do this any way you want. It's very uh, flexible craft. Okay, I think we're going to do two more and then we're going to glue them. Okay, everybody ready? Here we go. Hot glue. Just... Takes a little bit of patience, but I'm going to do it as quickly as I can. Make sure you have lots of glue in your glue gun, <laughs> which this one doesn't seem to. But anyway, glue it on, and then you can put a little decoration in the middle. And you can decorate it any way you want. And when you're finished, whoop, I missed one. Right here. Okay, and when you're finished, you can put a uh, string up on the top and hang it from your ceiling or wherever you want to hang it from, on your door. Happy holidays, everybody. Cookie decorating time. Ready? In five, four, three, two, one. Ready? That right? What'd you say? All right, so I've never decorated a cookie before, so I hope I can do this. I'm colorblind, but I'm gonna go with this one. I think it's red. And let's make this star beautiful. I'm gonna put an eye on him, another eye, and then I think an orange nose, and then a big blue smile. Yeah, look at that nice smile. Perfect, and now I want a, a green hat.
All right, now we're, let's see, maybe uh, some Christmas sprinkles. And, all right, I'm done. Can't wait to eat this. All right, I'm gonna decorate this cookie. There we go. Oh, it's not coming out the way I imagined. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, this did not, this not work. All right. No problem, any situation can be salvaged. Yep, just like that. And um, you know, if one of your plans doesn't work, you can just do another plan. And uh, that's okay to have different plans. All right, 10 seconds left. And you're done. All right. Done. This is definitely not the AC on my logo that I thought it was going to be. <laughs> but the colors are there. All right, now I'm going to show you how to make a paper snowflake. So you start with a regular piece of paper, small square. Um, you are going to start, let me just flip to the opposite side so the silver shows up. You're gonna start by folding in half diagonally, corner to corner. It's good to like poke, like pinch down on one end and then go across. Make sure your creases are nice and even. Then you're going to fold it again, like this. Okay, so now you have a small triangle, equilateral. You are now going to fold this in thirds. So take one corner, fold it partway across, crease. Then it's like this. Then you'll do the same with the other. Take a corner, fold it partway across and crease. And now you should have a little kind of a semi-rectangular shape in the middle. Next, you are going to take the right corner. Let me see if I can do this correctly. And actually, you'll take left corner, fold it across, and then, sorry, you're gonna take right corner, fold it across, then left corner, fold it across. Now you have a kind of a base of a, the thing that holds a flower pot. Not a flower pot, a, a kind of bou bouquet of flowers. You have a bouquet of flowers. Now you're gonna take a scissor, cut off the top part. And now you're free to cut little pieces and decorate this however you want. You can make uh, little triangles, you can make little circles. Let me try to do a circle. There we go, it's vaguely circle-y. And you can go on both sides. And you can even cut off corners. Let me try to do one down here. There we go. Now you have a cutout shape. You're gonna carefully unfold it. All the way. And now you have a snowflake. Thank you for watching. <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder where you are Up above the world so high Like a diamond in the sky Twinkle, twinkle, little star How I wonder where you are There, I'm done!
Yes. Okay. <laughs> this is hotter than it looks. Time for some sprinkles. And that's it. Happy holidays. Today we are going to make an origami box so you can put your gifts in it. You'll need a square piece of paper. You can use some foil origami. And let's begin. First step is to make a fold across, open it up, do the same thing on the opposite side. I just like to push down on my creases to make sure everything's nice and even. All right, now we're gonna take our triangles and bring them into the middle. And fold and just go around the whole shape, bringing them in. If you've made one of those fortune cookie shapes when you're a kid or still do for fun, these start off the same exact way. Okay, not bad. Um, the next step is to open up the sides here and from the top we're going to fold this corner, the side right back down into the middle. Let's do the same thing here. Take the side and fold it right down. Line it up into and this in the middle. Okay, so we have this kind of diamond shape. It opens up like this. Right. Next is a very important step. And almost towards the end, you're going to take your corner and, and give it like a little pinch. And this is how we're going to make the side of the box. Bring the corner in, there we go. Move that pinch, do the same thing. Pinch the corner in to the side here. And pinch the sides, pinch the sides here. We're kind of making that box shape. And fold the flap down. Yep. Very good, it doesn't need to be perfect. It's a thought that counts. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. And, you know, don't be frustrated if it doesn't work out the first couple of times. The more you do it, the better it will get. Let's fold the side in. Kind of 
go around and give it a good clean up. Pinch the edges. Okay. Um, there we go, we have a pretty little box. And you can get another piece of paper and, and make a lid. And there you go, you have a nice gift to give to your friends. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. oh my goodness, wow, these are beautiful. They're really beautiful. It's going to be hard to make a decision about these. They're gorgeous. Yeah. Wow. Hmm. Hmm. So many choices. So many choices. Well, I mean, I guess we can rule that one out. I mean, it's just kind of, I mean. That one's a little it's plain. Kind of it's a little plain. Yeah, I mean, although it looks like it tastes good. So yeah. it would be the one that I would probably eat under any circumstances because it's like, well, it's kind of neutral. It's, you know. Mm -hmm. um, See, um, I like the bright pink. Yeah. Not a fan of the green. Yeah. Yeah. On, on any of the ones with the green. Yeah, well that one kind of looks like it has mustard on it. It's kind of yeah. like, you know, like mustard and, and wasabi. Or yeah, it's wasabi, like, that's what it looks <laughs> like. <laughs> I love the contrast of the blue and the pink over here. Yeah. But I don't know, I just feel like the little sprinkle thing is kind of make it a little messy. A little messy, I got you. A little you know? messy. You know, this is what I like, the, the, the points on the end. Yeah, you know? like the attention to detail. Yeah. I like the color. Yeah. 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 And this one is cute in its own way. You know, oh, so it's kind of like... It's kind of ugly cute. Yeah, yeah kind of like the, the, the Christmas tree of Charlie Brown. Yeah. 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 You know, and, and this... I just feel like there's a lot of... There's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. A lot going on. But, you know, it's, um, it's, it's got a level of coherence to it. So. It has potential. It has potential. Yeah. So let's... I guess we'll do this by process of elimination. Okay, so okay. Right. So we'll take this one so. out. You know. Must, I mean, mustard out. Mustard out, yeah. Mustard out. This one. Yeah, okay. yeah, out of that one. Okay. Uh, this way. <laughs> there's something. There's something about it. There's something just, about him. I just can't like. Maybe it's his smile. I yeah, don't know. Yeah, it's his smile. So I can't quite get rid of it. So it's between yeah. these three, right? Yeah, yes. yeah. Oh. Mm. Mm. I'd say this this one out next. Yeah. I'm it looks like it was trying to do the same thing this one is, but then it got a little bit. Okay, so that one yeah, out next. Yeah. All right, so now these wow, two. This is tough. Oh no. Well, between these two, for me, it's easy. That. I, I take that one away. Smiley guy? Yeah. Smiley guy? Smiley guy. Smiley guy. guy. <laughs> there we go. The winner, Smiley, Smiley guy. guy. <laughs> Consensus. <laughs> it's a pleasure working with you all. Good judges, working with you. Judges, too. <laughs> judges, yeah. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I never expected to win this, and I've never decorated a cookie before. This means a lot to me. I just like, I like when people smile, so I tried to capture that. And um, thank you so much. This is one of the best moments of my life. <laughs> Merry Christmas. I didn't win. Oh, shucks. This year, I'm going to expand upon a, an origami project we've done in the past. So if you remember, few years back now, I made a star using this pretty origami paper. Fold it in half at the, on the diagonal, fold it in half on the other diagonal, open it up, fold it in half along the rectangle edge, and then the other edge. so that we have this sort of pattern. Now we're going to fold this point in to here, and then back fold. Fold this point in, and then back fold that, so that we now have this shape. Now we're going to take this and put it to the center fold, and then this side, and the center fold, flip it over. Do the same thing on the other side. And we need to, so we now have a kite shaped. We now need to just sort of give it a little crease fold like that. Then we're gonna open this up, pull this point up, and fold it in on itself. Bring that down, 
flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. Crease that down. So we now have another kite shape and we're gonna open it up like this, carefully. This paper is not happy when it's not done right. Oops, I have torn it. Um, but basically we made a star like this. Okay, this looks really bad and I'm sorry. But this year what we're going to do is we're going to take this shape and we're going to continue on to make a poinsettia. So we're going to invert this point down, which essentially means opening it up and folding this point down. And to save an awful lot of time, I've pre-folded it. So we now have sort of the kite with the, with the center bit in. And now what we're going to do is we're going to open up and fold that kite in again. Flip it over, do it on the other side. Okay, so we sort of have this triangle shape. Now, in the center is that little point. So what we're gonna do is we are going to fold this up so that the bottom edge is flush with that point. So it kind of looks like that. And then we're gonna take this side here and fold it into the center. Do it on the other side. Flip it over. Fold it up to that point. So these two top points should now line up with each other. And again, the sides go to the center. We then turn it this way. Fold it like that. And then we take this point and bring it up to where the other two points are. Fold in the sides. Bring the other point up. Fold in the sides. So we all look like that. Now we're gonna kind of open, caref carefully open it. Carefully opening it so that we have this, and we're gonna flip it over, and we're gonna fold down the backs, and if you tear it down the center, it's not that big a deal, because you just wanna get it out, of, you just wanna fold them out of the way, so that they sort of fold on top of the points that are on the other side of them. And then you flip it over. You can kind of, sort of foof these a bit. Poof these, foof these, whatever. To give them a little three-dimensionality. And there's the, the green bract. And then we put a red one. And we have a poinsettia. Ta-da! Well, that's it for this year. I hope you had as much fun as I did. Thank you for joining us at the ACMI Holiday Show. Happy Holidays!